welcome back. I am always happy to be here at Indie Style, but even happier when they have animals in the house. And uh, we are here with Lori, Lovely, and Cirrus, a male alpaca. Correct. And uh, tell us a little bit about these animals. I, I feel like we see them, but we don't really learn much about their behavior and, and what they like. And, and I mean, you got some great facts here. I, I didn't know any of these things. Right. Um, alpacas are in the camelid family, so there's six members of the camelid family, including two kinds of camel, um, al uh, alpacas, llamas, and then there are two wild versions in South America called a guanaco and a bacuña. Okay. So they are a ruminant, uh, and they will graze, but he happens to like some treats, which we brought along here. Right. Um, they're a very calm, gentle, curious animal, they're quiet, except for a little humming that he's been doing on your show, because he's eyeing your vegetables there. Um, but they're just a, a, you know, just a calm, usually. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're trying to look around me over here. I'm really excited today. So yeah. tell us about Cirrus. I, I mean, do they have personality? Absolutely, yeah. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little antsy today. So Cirrus is, uh, alpacas come in 22 official colors. And Sears is what we call a rose gray, which means that's a gray over brown. Oh, yeah, that's, um, that's accurate. And then, yeah, and then you can see his face has got spots. We call that an appy face. You think about an apple with a horse with a mm -hmm. spotted. So that's what we call that. So so his uh, gray is a little unusual color in alpaca. It's a little harder to come by. So he's, he's a little special, we think. Yeah. <laughs> and about how long, how old is he and how long is, is there life expectancy? Sears is uh, about, <laughs> about 10. Okay. And uh, they can live to be 20 to 25 years. Okay. So. And how many of you guys have? What is this atmosphere like? Um, I'm right around hovering around 30. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And what, I mean, how, how does this farm uh, function? Is this something that people can come out and see? Or, or what are the benefits of having an alpaca farm here in Indiana? Uh, well, it's a little unusual. Um, I think there's not a lot of alpaca farms around. But, right. um, yeah, no, we, we schedule custom tours. Oh, great. Somebody, a group wants to come out. Yeah, we'll we can do that. But Saturday is National Alpaca Farm Day. Oh. And so we have our annual open house from <laughs> 11 to 3. So and it's open to the public. Anybody can come out and, and visit them and, and learn about them and see them and feed them and you know, what have you. So how long have you been raising alpacas? 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what made you decide to do that? Well, my, my late husband and I found this farm, and it turns out this is a historic farm for Brownsburg. I don't know if Tracy knows this or not, but the man who settled it was named James Brown. Oh, okay. And he was the first white settler in the area, so they happened to name our town after, after the Oh, my goodness, farm. yeah. So it was this beautiful farm, and um, <laughs> decided that we wanted some... Uh, there we go. Some animals, but uh -huh. uh, I wanted to have an animal that I could get an end product without having to slaughter them. So yeah, we have got her for this week. And um, come on, Sarah. And he's been hanging around for a long time and was so calm for a while. He's just wanting to kind of see his way there around is. and see the vegetables he, he thinks down. he's an employee now. Uh -huh. He's looking for the break around. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so this Saturday. Saturday from 11 to 3. Great. Yeah. Um, so we'll have uh, you know, some products on sale. Um, people can tour around. And uh, we, we also have Nomad Yarns from Plainfield. They'll be out there doing a, a spinning demonstration oh, to show incredible. what you do with all this bike. It's going to be beautiful weather. So I hope so. Couldn't be a better day to go out. Exactly. It's going to be beautiful. So a great day to get the family out and, and learn about alpacas yeah. and this animal that we, we see from time to time, but we don't always get to know them. Hope to see well. some more of them. Lori, thank you so much for bringing Sirius in. It was our pleasure. It. Thank you for having us. You did it. Tracy? <laughs> yeah, an alpaca fleece hat or scarf or blanket today. No, but by Saturday.